Hi, this is Chad. I'm here with Kevin, and today we're going to be talking about processor independent embedded platform differentiators. But, Kevin, before we get into that topic, tell the audience a little bit about yourself and the genesis of the PEEP. Sure. For over 20 years, I've worked as a professional embedded system developer for industry. Throughout my career, I've worked with a wide array of processors, architectures, and embedded development platforms. The shortcomings I've routinely encountered with these embedded development platforms led to the development of PEEP. PEEP, as much as anything, is a solution to the problems I've encountered. With existing commercial products, the processor and the main board are usually integral together, and you also have a locked-in footprint for your peripherals. With the E3 embedded system, we've taken a different approach, and the processor is actually mounted on a removable card. With a 200-pin interface, we've got plenty of uh, I.O. To, to take full advantage of any processor that we use, whether it's an 8, 16, or 32-bit device. Most commercial products implement at least a certain number of peripherals on the main board with the processor. Some of these you will need, some you won't. Some you won't need and they're going to consume resources you need to allocate for a different function. PEEP makes no assumptions about what you need. Rather, it allows you to select the peripherals that you need for your specific project and install those and only those. With most of the existing products on the market, you're locked in by the peripheral size based on the size of the, the baseboard or the motherboard that the device plugs into. With PEEP, the design is flexible and scalable. Our base size is a one and a quarter by one and a quarter, which is slightly larger than a quarter. If we need more real estate or we need more resources, we simply make the board larger, up to approximately four by two, two and a half inch size. Our boards are also stackable, so even though you have 12 connectors total for peripherals, you can put a stack height of up to three with each individual board adding about a quarter of an inch to the overall stack height of your system. With existing commercial products, as you migrate from 8 to 16 to 32 bit processors, it's necessary to add additional headers to accommodate the extra resource pins from the processor. This means an adapter designed to use these additional headers won't necessarily work on a lower end processor board. With PEEP, we've solved that problem by our resource mapping. All of our peripherals were desi are designed to work with all of our processors, whether it's 8, 16, or 32 bit. Yet, even with the higher end 32 bit processors, the header arrangement allows you to take full advantage of all the resources and capabilities of the device. At E3 Embedded Systems, we realized there was a lot of great products on the market besides just tires. That's why we've introduced a series of adapters that allows P peripherals to interface with Arduino products or Arduino peripherals to interface with PEEP motherboards. We will also be introducing a series of adapters that, that are compatible with the tiny circuits as well as the BeagleBone in the very near future. Competing products typically use an arrangement where each peripheral has equal access to all the resource pins on the processor. These stacked head arrangements are common with devices like the Arduino Shield systems. This works well if you're implementing a few peripherals, but the more peripherals that you implement, the more likely that more than one peripheral will need access to the same processor pin. This creates what is known as a resource conflict. PEEP avoids this by mapping each individual processor pin to a unique point on the motherboard. Therefore, it's impossible to install multiple peripherals that will access the same resource pin on the processor. Even for our stacked arrangement, it's highly unlikely, as we've taken extreme care in our design of our peripherals, to ensure that there's a very low probability that more than one peripheral will need access to the same processor pin. E3 Embedded Systems has designed our products to be extremely easy to use. 
no special tools, and no special hardware skills are needed. In fact, the only tools that you should ever need with an E3 embedded product are a pair of side cutters and a screwdriver. Even our peripheral interface connectors use pre-crimp leads that we supply with our products. You simply slide the crimp into the housing and it's ready to use. The screwdriver is used for to install power and on our terminal board and the side cutters are used to remove unwanted jumpers from the peripherals. Often there is a need to remote mount your peripherals off the main board. That's why we've created the remote mount kit. The remote mount kit enables you to install any of our peripherals in the location of your choosing, whether it's a switchboard, accelerometer, motion sensor, buzzer, display, or any of our other devices. You simply attach one end to the connector of your choice on the main board, and then you snap the peripheral of your choice on top of the other side, and then it remote mounts to the location of your choice. The PEEP supports a wide array of debugging and testing for uh, both the processor and peripherals. On the processor end, we have both a JTAG 20 standard debug header and a 6-pin debug header. The JTAG 20 is used by devices such as the Atmel, Sam Ice, while the 6-pin debug header is used by devices such as the Freescale Multilink or the PIC, PIC Kit 3 via our CD adapter. On the peripheral end, uh, we use our breakout board to access signals between the peripheral and the main board. Uh, if this is inserted underneath the board, you can access digital communication signals through devices like the Beagle, I2C, SPI analyzer, or you can analyze access digital and analog signals via scope probes and digital multimeters. I spent my career deploying embedded development systems in harsh conditions. PEEP is likewise ruggedized to withstand those same conditions, whether bouncing around on a robot or boiling in an unair conditioned cabinet. All peripherals are securely mounted with standoffs to ensure that they don't vibrate loose. The motherboard is likewise, or the processor board is likewise secured with standoffs. All peripheral interface wires are crimped and secured in place with a friction lock header. So you're not only relying on the retention force of the individual wires, but also the header itself for a very secure, stable connection. Even the power source can be un unregulated for the peep. For the peep. Uh, a range of 9 to 24 volts is all that's needed, unregulated, it handles the rest. It's a very rugged, solid system, ready for deployment. So, as you can see, the PEEP addresses many common shortcomings in currently available embedded development products. To summarize, the PEEP is processor independent, efficient, scalable, it plays well with others, it has a competitive footprint, it's rugged, and it's easy to use. For more videos, please check out our website, e3embedded.com.